What's up guys, Dr. Bo here, and today you are going to meet Gerald. Gerald's coming in with a very, very common issue, and that is a stiff and locked neck. I want you guys to experience what it is to be in my practice as far as an examination. I'm gonna show you the adjustment, and at the end of it, I'm gonna tell you what that you need to do next if you're experiencing the same exact thing. All right, you're up, my man. Oh, you uh... <laughs> Let's do it. So take a seat right here for me. So talk to me. What's going on with your neck? Um, it's just the um sharp pain right here. Right um, there. Yeah. Okay. What is it coming from? I'm just waking up in the morning. Okay. Yeah. So you just woke up once, and then it kind of started, or mm -hmm. okay. And how long ago was that? I was like a good couple months because I haven't been here. So it's been a, cu a couple months that you had a stiff neck here. Yeah. All right. I ignored him, so. What have you been doing to try to like get rid of it? Just popping in my own neck. You're trying to pop your own neck. Yeah. And that's not working out great for you. I don't know. Yeah, typically, right? All right. Do you feel like it's in the lower portion of the neck lower or the upper portion? portion? The it's lower easy. portion of the neck down here. Okay. I want you to sit nice and straight for me here. Good. Bring your chin down to your chest for me. Is there pain with that? Okay, good. How about if I take and I lift your head all the way yes. back? We got pain with that. And where's that pain at? Right. Right through there, huh? Okay. If we rotate your head, is there pain with this? No. Okay, and how about if I go back the other way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, if I push down on your head, is there any issues with that? Yes, sir. Here again? Okay. How about if I lift up? No. Okay. How about if I take and I take your head over yeah. like this? Yeah, so we have a lot of tenderness in there. And how about if we go this side here? No. Good. All right. Hold your arms up like this strong. Don't let me press them down. Good. Give me some biceps for me here. Okay. Roll them up here, we'll make them look good here and there we go. Good. <laughs> Give me this one here. Good. Alright. Alright, so let's just feel and see what's going on now. So I want you to sit up nice and straight. There you go. Good. Do you have any tenderness when I touch over here? Yeah. Okay. And then how about on this side as well? A little bit. A little bit? And then how about if I go lower down into yeah. here? Yeah. Right there. Huh? Do we have any tension that's going down almost like underneath the shoulder blade area as well? Not much, but I think Kind of through there too? Yeah. So a lot of times what happens when we sleep, things shift and they rotate out and the muscles that, that connect all through here become tight. Primarily our trapezius muscle, right? The trapezius starts off the base of the occiput here, runs down to the middle of our back and over to the top portion of the shoulder here. It's this big broad muscle. And as the neck breaks down overnight, meaning like the structure, the, the integrity of it crunches down, these muscles spasm and then this goes and is pulled out of alignment. Can you feel all that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's exactly what's going on there. So, all right, we're gonna get this all squared away. Also, we gotta start working on your posture a little bit more too. You know, quite rounded forward, even just sitting here, you probably, if we see the video, you'll notice that your body's rounded. We gotta do some stuff that opens those shoulder blades back up more a little bit that way, okay? okay. All right, so let's get you on some therapy and we'll go from there. So face down, please. <laughs> How's the tension right through here feel? A little better. A little bit better. Good. You have any tenderness right here in the front? Okay. Yeah. So first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to pick your head up and turn it to your left for me. Okay, we're going to take this down here. What I'm going to do is have you take a big old breath in, breathe it out. Good. 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 Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> In and out. Good. Yeah, my man. <laughs> How's your low back been? It's good. I have nothing in there. Okay, turn it over on your back, please. Big old hug here. Chin up for me. Good. Good. Oh. How'd that feel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check your neck out here now. Again, we have a lot of restriction right there. You can feel how tight and tender that is. Okay. 
So we're gonna adjust this first. Again, breath in, and then breathe it out. One more breath in, and then breathe it out. Good. Over this way. Good. Now I want you to give me a little pressure, push back against my hand. Good. Now relax again. Good, there we go. Again, press back against my hand, and then relax again. We're trying to do a little bit of overstretching in these muscles because they've been so tight the past couple of months, it sounds like. You're going to bring your head down this way. We're going to stretch it down. You should feel in your upper back now. Good. Again, press back against my hand now. And then relax. Good. Again, press back. And then relax again. Good. Excellent. Good. Okay. Get behind here. How's that feeling? Much better. Yeah, a lot of movement, right? Yeah, that was a lot of pop. It felt as good as it sounds, let's put it that way. <laughs> Just rubbing some biofreeze in here now, okay? God. There we go. You feel kind of tight and tense these muscles are here, huh? Yeah. So you just saw Gerald get adjusted. Man, wasn't his face great? Wasn't he just like, almost like in shock and awe of that? Well, here's what I want you guys to know. When you guys have a stiff neck, matter of fact, just like he did, when you wake up in the morning and the neck feels locked, Ultimately, what happened is this. When you're in sleeping at night, your neck should be in a neutral position. Matter of fact, like all of the bones of your neck should be in a straight line. But if our pillow's not good and the pillow starts to break down a little bit, the neck will actually start to bend over and kink a little bit, causing the muscles that are in the side of the neck, the trapezius muscle here, as well as some of the muscles in what we call the upper cervical spine area, to tighten down. And the reason that they tighten down is they're trying to maintain that neutral position as the pillow starts to crumple away. So the muscles here and here will actually start to fire to hold it up. And that leads to a stiff and achy neck in the morning. Now, what do we need to know about that? Well, when the muscles tighten, they'll actually pull the vertebrae out of alignment. The patient or you will wake up and you'll be unable to move your neck. Now, to take it one step further, if the muscles are tight or if there's enough rotation, you'll actually wake up and your hand will be numb and tingling. As a matter of fact, you guys have all had this where you feel like it's a dead arm because you've slept wrong. Basically, what has happened is that the nerves or the bones or some sort of structure here has compressed or pushed down over those nerves, and that's what leads to what we call paresthesia down into the hands. Now, a chiropractic adjustment is an amazing way to quickly restore function, motion, and mobility back into the cervical spine, as well as neurologically reset these muscles. Last thing that you probably saw in the video was him doing some stretches, or me doing some stretches where I was literally taking and pressing his hand over. Now, how do I do this at home, and what homework should he or you have? Well, the first thing is, is you want to stretch out that trapezius muscle. So to do that, simply sit in a chair like I am, take one hand, grab underneath the bottom of the chair, take your other hand over at 90 degrees and lean and hold for about 10 or 15 seconds. Then as you're holding, apply pressure or force back into that direction against your hand back that way and resist it here for another 10 or 15 seconds, relax and you'll notice that you'll be able to take the head over further. That's known as what they call PNF stretching. And this is a great way to increase range of motion in certain muscles. So we do it this way, we do it the opposite way, we take the nose down at a 45 degrees, I say nose to nipple, down this way, head as well, pressing back, 
going up. And then lastly, underneath our chin, looking up as we press down to stretch the structures in the front portion of the neck. All right, guys, please let me know what questions do you have about having a stiff neck in the morning or any sort of neck pain. I'll do my best to jump in the comments and answer them for me. And let me know, guys, do you guys like these types of videos? I'm really trying to figure out the best way to serve you guys. A lot of my videos are just like this where I sit and I talk at a camera, but I never get to show you guys behind the scenes of what I actually do. So let me know if you guys like that. I also know a lot of you guys love hearing the clicking, crunching sound of the chiropractic adjustment. So uh, please, just drop me a line below. And if you guys are new to this channel here, please subscribe. I try to make these videos at least once a week. And the more comments that I get and the more subscriptors that I get, the happier I am. And the more I want to make them for you. So what questions do you guys have? As always, I'm always here. Dr. Bo, I'll talk to you later.